These are cam plate bolts. They're included in the cam chest kit. 12 point ARP hardware. No Loctite on these guys. We have ARP lube on the underhead flanges and on the threads. Once again, the reason we do not want Loctite on these threads is it can ooze out and interfere with the stack up clearance and tolerance between the plate and the engine case, creating some oil leaks. The oil pump and the cam plate bolts are virtually the only bolts inside this engine that do not have Loctite on them. All right, we're gonna go in and use the speed handle here. Once again, I wanna go snug and I wanna go tight. I'm talking finger tight with these guys because I wanna be able to rotate the engine over and center the pump and plate the best as possible to the crankshaft run out. Want to make sure that everything's finger tight, but no more than that. All right, we're going to get our pinion bolt put back into the crankshaft here. And we're going to rotate this engine over for a little bit. We want to tighten the oil pump, excuse me, the cam plate first, and then the oil pump second. When you've got your engine installed into the motorcycle and into the transmission, you want to make sure that your oil tank is full with fresh clean oil. Make sure that your oil filter is full. And when you do the process of rotating the engine over by hand, like what we're doing to center the cam plate and then the oil pump, it's going to start to prime the system because it's going to automatically start sucking oil out of the tank. You're going to see oil puke out of the tensioner feed hole here. You'll also see it coming out of the pinion shaft. And that's something I highly recommend that you see before you finalize your assembly. But rotate the engine over. We're going to do the cam plate first, and then we're going to do the oil pump second. And you want to do it in a step torque. Final torque on these bolts, we're looking at 120 inch pounds. I think the factory says 90 to 120. We always use 120. This process is going to center the cam plate and the oil pump as best as possible to this crankshaft. And we all know that there's all the crankshafts have some run out in them. The cam plate here has this machine line in it. That's so you can line up for TDC. So we got the flat of the crankshaft right here, lined up. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna take out the pinion bolt. And then we're gonna discuss sprockets over here. All right, we have crank sprockets. We got the fueling sprocket over here. This is the factory HD unit. One thing we want to note is look at the slop that's in this guy. We can see up to a five degree variance in cam timing because of these sprockets. So what we did is we came out with a sprocket that's got a smaller ID to tighten that up. Sometimes you got to use a little mallet even to put them on. Obviously you have variants, you have machining tolerance on the sprocket ID and also on the crankshaft OD right there. But now we're nice and tight, we don't have any movement in there. We need to go through and check our sprocket alignment. So we're gonna use our washer. This engine previously had 130 thousandths washer in there, so we're gonna go back with it. We're gonna put that guy on there. Line up the rear cam sprocket. 
little note on our washers because we're going to tighten this stuff up so we can check it with a flat edge. But I want to show you guys the washers have a bevel on them or a chamfer right there. That goes on the outside against the bolt. The sharp edge is going to go inward and that bevel's in there so when you tighten it down if you pull any material it's going to fill, fill in there and it's not going to change your torque and or move the washer around. So we're going to tighten these guys up quick a minute. And then we're going to check the spacing of the rear cam sprocket. If we need to adjust it, we'll change out the washer, the thrust washer that's behind it. Give me a second here. Why don't I show this going in there again? We got a three thousandths feeler gauge. It doesn't fit in there. I'm going to say we're dialed in with that 130 thousandths thrust washer spacer in there. So now we're going to take the bolts out and go together with the chain. 